Welcome to Baking in Charlie World. Today we're going to make granola from scratch. I actually had never tried this until the recent shelter in place with Corona and I was just a mediocre fan of granola before that. I love it now. This is when you make it from scratch, it's 10 times better than whatever you buy in the store and it doesn't have any of those preservatives. You can control how much sugar you put in and make it healthier. So um, this recipe, I, I try to minimize the sugar, uh, but I use maple syrup and honey instead of processed sugar. Uh, one of my favorite things to do. Uh, so let's take a look at... Okay, so we have our ingredients. You're going to start with three cups of rolled oats and one cup of instant oats. So four cups total of oats. You can vary the combination of the two based on your the um, texture you want. Uh, more rolled oats is going to make it bigger and, and lumpier and crunchier, and less will uh, make it combine more and be more like a granola bar. We'll have, for wet ingredients, half a cup of olive oil. Now, you could use coconut oil. I don't love that strong coconut or coconut flavor, so I am just going to use olive oil. Any neutral oil will work. Um, so one and a half cups of vanilla, quarter cup of honey, quarter cup of maple syrup, one cup of pecans, or I couldn't find pecans in the store today, so I'm using walnuts, quarter cup of almonds, and a quarter of a cup of pepitas or the green pumpkin seeds. Again, if you can't find these, you could just add more of the other nuts. The key is that it totals to one and a half cups. For the topping of granola, we're gonna have um, some dried fruits, so about two thirds a cup. This is apricots, because that's what I had in my pantry. And then I've got some mini chocolate chips. You could use regular chocolate chips. Uh, I like the mini because then they'll get in every bite a little bit or you can skip chocolate chips altogether. It'll definitely be healthier if you skip the chocolate, um, but again, these will sprinkle over the top after the granola is cool. And then a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and, and one teaspoon salt. Uh, you will need some mason jars, whatever you got with lids, and uh, those will fill up the granola with, or some, an airtight container like Tupperware is fine too if you don't have mason jars. Mason jars, I think, make it look prettier. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put all our dry ingredients in the bowl. So our oats, our nuts, again, we're going to set these aside, the apricots and the chocolate chips. Those go in at the very end. Our spices. salt. So before you put the dry, uh, wet ingredients in, you want to give us a good stir because you want to get all the different flavors kind of intertwined within there. Once the wet stuff, it kind of sticks. Okay, let's do a dry or wet. Maple syrup, or honey. Use local honey or um, a really good brand from the store, if you can. The honey is what makes this fantastic. And then our vanilla. Now you could use um, almond extract or um, something else as your flavor charger, but uh, I'm using vanilla in this recipe. And then our olive oil. Again, a neutral oil could be alternated. So, so I've dumped my stirred granola into my pan. What I'm gonna do is spread it across my, try to get it to be about a quarter of an inch thick. And I like it crispy. I don't like kind of mushy granola. Um, so what I do, a little tip that helps you is to take the spatula. So you want a good 
flat spatula that you can use. And I just go ahead and I press it down to make it really like a level and it'll combine really good so you get clusters. That's what I think makes a good granola is the cluster part. So go ahead and spread that out. So that's pretty much ready. So we'll go ahead and we'll um, preheat our oven to 350 degrees and we'll put it in for 25 minutes and make sure it doesn't burn. This time we baked our granola for 25 minutes. We're gonna take it out of the oven. So there you have it, it's perfectly golden. Um, you need to let it cool for 45 minutes. Do not touch it for the next 45 minutes. Just let it sit there and cool. And then we will sprinkle our apricots and our chocolate chips on top. You don't want to do that when they're hot because it will um, melt the chocolate chips. So um, we'll come back in 45 minutes. Okay, so I put my dried fruit over the top and now I'm going to put my chocolate chips. I'm going to mix these. Put them all together and then we'll go ahead and put them in our jars. And put our lid on and we've got our granola.